Yo guys, what's going on? Monday to 6 here, back to the 2004 Ford Explorer Sport Track. And today, I tinted my tail lights. Went ahead and got some honeycomb film. Took a little bit to tint this, but overall looks great. Super shiny and makes the tail light look brand new. Takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of time, but overall looks great. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, here's a good before. What the tail light looks like. Right here is the honeycomb tent on the passenger tail light. There you go. Not too dark. Super shiny. Right, we got everything here to tent the tail lights. We got a microfiber rag, a razor blade, a spreader squeegee, a pair of scissors to cut the initial tent, heat gun. Uh, we might need that to help stretch some of the tent around the tail light. The alcohol here, we're going to use this to prep the tail light just to make sure the surface is clean. But um, we're going to end up leaving the tail light in here. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and take our microfiber with our alcohol on it. Make sure this lens is nice and clean. Just go ahead and get you some of the window tint here. Just make sure it's a little bit longer than the light itself. Remove the uh, backer to the film. All right, here's going to be the tricky process. Here, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the squeegee here and just start moving some of the air out of here. If I get into any real tight spots, I'm going to grab the heat gun or the hair dryer so I can go ahead and warm up that film so I can get it around the corners. Really just heating this material up here with the hair dryer, or if you have a heat gun, it'll probably be easier. But it really just has to stretch around this part of the tail light. Well, this definitely is some time-consuming tail light film here. Um, just been really slow with it. Don't expect this to go on fast at all. I still just have this little bit left here. Um, just keep using the hair dryer heat gun. Just keep stretching that material. Try not to get a crinkle in it. 
or else the material will be ruined. But just keep going at it. Almost gotten all the way done. Now in real life this has taken about 25 to 30 minutes. This is really my first attempt at doing any tail light tent. Um, just make sure you use plenty of heat when you get around these round edges here. You have to stretch the material so just make sure you leave excess here to be able to stretch that. You can see you still have all these little wrinkles around the edges. I'm going to take the tail light out so I can get to those a little bit better. Okay, I got the material stretched almost all the way to the edges. I'm going to go ahead and do the same to the top here. Just keep stretching. Make sure you don't get any of those hard wrinkles. Here is the tail light. I have the film kind of shrunk around the edges there, getting ready to trim it up. Look at that. See that honeycomb design in there? Right here is the tail light tent. This is how I kind of have it trimmed around the edges. Just like that. Please be very patient with this. Here is a side by side comparison. You can tell it's a light tent, but it makes the light look brand new and shiny. Right, gonna repeat the same process here for the driver's side. Here is the honeycomb tent on the passenger taillight. Let's compare that to the driver's side. There you go. Not too dark. Super shiny. Got both taillights tinted here. Here's the passenger one. Here's the driver. This is what it looks like from the back. Now after doing this driver side, literally took a quarter of the time just have to learn how to stretch that material. I would say a beginner can do it because this was my first time doing it. So go ahead and try. Looks really good. Takes away that super bright red from the tail light. Just gives it that little bit of smoke look. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Monday to 6, out.